Hello everybody, welcome back to Batania. This is the series where I go over Batania uh, pieces, components, and how to make them all work for 1.16.5 or 1.16 and up. Today we're going to be focusing on the infinite flower generation because as you know, flowers in Batania are quite important. So I've laid out steps for all of you here. There should be a line connecting here, but what you're pretty much going to do is what is on the red here and this black is optional however it is very useful so I would recommend sparing the extra little bit of mana to get this black line on here that just helps the farm run a little bit more smooth so the first thing that we're going to start with is to get this jaded amaranthus to make this you're going to need a rune of spring mystical green petal lime petal purple petal redstone root and some seeds now you can find out how to make this rune of spring from uh, the runes tutorial, which I will have linked down below. But what you're going to do is you're going to throw all these into the petal apothecary with some water in it. And then you're just going to throw some seeds and you're going to get the jaded amaranthus. Now I have a plane here that's from the center. It is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4 all across. I'll explain what these little triangles are here for. Don't worry, they're not complicated. So, I'm going to remove this torch. And I'm going to place it in the center. It may help if I was in survival just to let you get a bit of a feel for this. So, I'm going to place that in the center of the uh, what is going to be the farm here. And then I'm going to move over to here. And for this, on this gray piece here you're actually going to want to place a mana pool and then I have a wand so you can use um, a regular mana, mana pool however I didn't set up anything with mana so I'm using an everlasting guilty pool and then what you're going to do is you're going to bind this to the mana pool by shift right and then shift right and you're going to see that's going to start producing these flowers around now, since it is everlasting, you can break these and it will regenerate some of them as you go. It will fill up this entire plot, but by the time it gets near capacity, it will start to slow down. So, just for, um, if that's all you wanted to do, you can self-harvest these yourself. Or we can go to the automation process, which I will show you right now if we continue down this line and veer off right here. So... What are we doing over here? Well, we are going to make this automatic now. So we're going to need this Horn of the Wild. To make this Horn of the Wild, it is five living wood. And it is this pasture seed. Now, if you remember how to make a pasture seed, it's pretty much just grass. And you're going to throw this into a mana pool and it will give you a pasture seed. And then putting it in a crafting table like this will give you the Horn of the wild moving over to here I can actually dispose of this we are then going to make this which is the drum of the wild so using six living wood this time two leather and the horn of the wild placing it in the crafting table like this will get you the drum of the wild So, we can actually take this, I'm going to set the weather to clear. So we can take this and we can actually place this over our flower. And we're just going to leave that there for right now. But we will come back to that later. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a normal mana spreader real quick. Because we're going to need it for a pulser. So to make the mana spreader it is just six living wood. A petal of your choice. And a gold ingot and you get a mana spreader now this is what we need to make this pulse mana spreader and this has a redstone output to it which allows it to pulse at on command so we're going to take a mana spreader and a piece of redstone combine these two and it is going to give us a pulse mana spreader we can then head back over to here and where you see this red block that i had we're just going to place the pulse mana spreader on there 
And just to be sure, we are going to bind it up with that. And as you can see, the line goes to the drum. Oops. Oh, that should be working fantastically. Moving over to the optional piece, this is an hourglass. So when I said that the pulsar takes redstone outputs, this hourglass is a one tile clock. So to make this, it's going to be some of these mana items. So it's going to be mana glass and mana steel. So to make mana steel, it's just an iron ingot and some mana. So throwing it in here gives you mana steel and then one mana glass will give you, or one glass, sorry, will give you one mana glass. Setting it up like this will give you an hourglass. Hovering hourglass. Fantastic. Now we'll just move over here and we're just going to place it behind the uh, uh, the pulsating mana spread and that's a uh, that's a visual glitch and a half there and then I also have a lever here which we will place right next to the mana pulser so this gives it a pulse and then it harvests it with the drum give it another pulse it harvests it with the drum and then you can turn it off however there's a thing that we need for this that I didn't mention before you can use sand to fill it. You can't use every single normal block sadly, but you can use sand. So it accepts stacks of sand, you can use red sand, and you can use soul sand. However, for this purpose, I'm just going to use regular sand. And we are just going to fill that in there. And then once it fills to the bottom with all the sand, it is then going to flip around. And it will send a redstone pulse to the pulser here, which will then trigger the drum. Now before we finish all of that, let's go ahead and make the final piece. So for this you're going to need to make a redstone root, which is just grass and some redstone to make a redstone root. And then in the petal apothecary you're going to need one redstone root, two mystical gray petals, mystical light gray, a rune of air which is a pain to make. Well no, this one isn't a pain to make, it's the other one that is. So you're going to need redstone root, a rune of air, the light gray petals, and the gray petals, and then you're going to just plop in some seeds there. Heading over to here, we are then going to place this next to a double chest because it's going to start collecting items and it will put it automatically in your double chest. And as this just broke here, it will transport it into this double chest and you now have an automatic mana, or uh, sorry, flower producing farm for Batania 1.16 and up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a great Thanksgiving weekend everyone because it's Thanksgiving. Goodbye.